Hello, in this tutorial we're going to build a multiple series chart. Let's first of all go through and insert the chart web part again onto the page. So from the Lightning Tools web parts category we're going to select the SharePoint chart web part and choose add. We're going to click the drop down and choose edit this chart and this time we're going to build the chart on a Microsoft Excel workbook. So I'll choose the Microsoft Excel file option and then browse in order to obtain the document that I want to create the chart on. So underneath my document library I have a sales workbook. I'm basically going to select that and choose insert. If there is an optional if there is a password set on the file then I'll be able to provide that otherwise we can click on to load. The SharePoint chart web part allows me to either select a named range or we can also select a sheet. So I'm going to select sheet 1 in my particular chart and notice how we've also got the sheet range there as well which I can use to work to go and select the data that I want to work with. We'll hit connect and that will allow me to uh, once more be able to view my data. So notice here we've uh, actually got some uh, performance figures for our website. We have uh, the months down the left hand side, the direct traffic numbers, the pay per click numbers and the organic traffic numbers. So we'll use that data to build a multiple series chart. So as we select next, we can go through and select the columns that we want to see. So I need to have month, direct traffic, pay per click and also organic and we'll click on to apply. And notice again immediately we get given a SharePoint chart. We've got the legend there so we can see what each of these bars are referring to. Now as we choose next again we can once more preview our data. We'd be able to filter the data as well. We'll choose next. We don't need to group the data this time so we'll leave that as it is. And this time when we choose next down to the chart type, notice how the SharePoint chart has defaulted to the multiple series option. So currently we're looking at a multiple series column chart in 2D. Uh, what might be better suited to the chart, because this is very busy, is a line chart. So we can select the line chart option and click on to preview to see what that's going to look like on our page. So We'll work with that, but then we'll come in and change it afterwards. So uh, we'll basically go through and click Next and Yes to save it. Again, we'll provide a chart title. So we'll have Website Performance. Click on to Apply. And we're going to skip through and just click finish because we'll come back and set some uh, other options in just a moment. So let's choose finish on the page and you can see there straight away we've got our performance being displayed on the page along with the other two web parts. So we're going to go back and reconfigure this so let's click on to edit this chart and what I want to show you is some of the different chart types that we can work with when we're building a multi-series chart. So once more we've uh, got the uh, column charts, we could also turn that into a bar chart if we wanted to use a bar chart option. Um, but what we're going to look at is a different uh, section. As we click the drop down, we can actually go down to the combination charts. And a combination chart allows me to combine both the column charts with line charts and also area charts as well. So I'm going to select the 3D version of that. So, uh, so let's select the, uh, the 3D single Y combination and we'll click on to apply. Now as soon as we do apply that you don't exactly see uh, what was promised. That's not the, uh, the, the kind of data that we wanted to see. In fact let's just change that for this option which looks a bit better. Uh, we're going to click on to uh, next and save the changes. But this time what we're going to do is come into the series customization and notice along the top we've got series 1, series 2, series 3 from our multiple series data. So we're going to click onto series 1 and that's the direct traffic and for the direct traffic we can choose how that is going to render. So I can either render it as a, a column or a line. Now if we go back to the chart type once more and uh, 
let's select the 2D option with the area as well. Let's apply that. And now when we go to the series customization, notice that we can go to series one again, and this time we get a choice of the column, the line, or an area. Uh, so for the direct traffic, uh, let's make that a line. And we'll hit preview to see what that's going to look like. So you can see the line has been drawn on the chart there. And we'll go to series two, and this is for the paper click, and we'll show that one as an area. And once again, we'll be able to preview that to see what it's going to look like on the page. And uh, we could leave the uh, series three as the column, but um, it will just set it to default at the moment. But let's just change that so it's explicitly set to column. And uh, again, hit preview. So another thing we're going to look at is um, changing the colors within inside the chart. So notice again we've got the Series 1, Series 2, Series 3. So on the Series 1, which is the direct traffic, the line, let's make that stand out a little bit more by changing the color. So we can, uh, we can select from a range of colors and, or put in our own uh, color code there. So we'll go for something that's going to stand out a little bit better than the, uh, the light blue. So uh, again, let's preview that and we can hopefully see that a bit more clearly on the chart. And we'll go through and do a similar thing for the area, so we can uh, go through and change the color of that. And let's preview that and see how that's going to appear on the chart. And notice how we've got this opaque color, we can also change the opaqueness and so on on there if we want to as well. And finally, uh, series three will uh, we'll change that color uh, for something that's um, a little bit more subtle. So there we are. We've got the uh, the, the chart. So uh, once again, we can add that onto the page. And let's now choose finish. And there's our new chart on the page. So we can uh, once again hit save and close. And let's restore The first chart so now we can see how we've got the uh, the, the new chart uh, showing the website performance as well as the number of orders per quarter and the number of customers per country